Welcome back YouTube. Mutton Chop Piper here. Well, as the title says, this is my first Yabo, for this channel at least. Uh, now what Yabo stands for is yet another box opening. Well, this is my first box opening, so yeah, I don't know if Yabo actually fits in this occasion, for this occasion. But, uh, we'll keep that moniker anyway. Okay, well, there is a pipe in this box. Um, I first learned of this pipe by going and watching YouTube videos, <coughs> and I really liked it. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I thought it was neat, so I did a little bit more investigating, and I went to the individual's website, and I liked it so much, I said, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and get one, because it's unique, and it and uh, I really was excited about, uh, about owning one. So, um, without further ado, we're going to start uh, opening it so that uh, I can show you what I got and explain a little bit about it. So, here we go. up in bubble, bubble wrap. Know that. I'm going to take this out of the bubble wrap and set it here. Take the box and set it over there. All right, so let's unwrap the bubble wrap. And it's in the back. I want to neatly fold this bubble wrap because I don't want anything to happen to it. Of course, you know. Love rats, very fragile. Okay, so here's the bag. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn the bag over. The name of the, of the pipe is on the bag. I'm gonna turn the, turn the pipe over, the bag over, and let you look at the name and see if it, you recognize it. If you don't, then you'll be in for a grand surprise. If you are not, if you do know the name, then you might just wanna keep watching to see what kind I got. Okay, so here we go. Turning the bag over. There you go. You see the name there? All right. <clears throat> here we go. I'm going to open the end here. Okay. And I'm going to pull out the pipe. Are you ready? One, two, Three. I'm going to do it very slowly so you can see it as it comes out. Dun, da, da, dun, da, da, dun, da, da, dun. There it is. This is a Hector Weeb pipe. It is a radiator pipe. And I got the short one, uh, the, sh uh, the stubby it's called. And I want to explain a little bit about the pipe. Okay, this copper section down here is the radiator part. The radiator part. Now, as you know, tobacco produces moisture when it burns. Your moisture from um, smoking the pipe. Both, uh, the, both moistures, the one produced by the tobacco and the one produced by your saliva, will go down into this part here and it will it will not sit to where to where it will mingle with the tobacco and get go up through the mouthpiece into your mouth <clears throat> so again uh, mouthpiece this is the um, uh, the stem where moisture may go down through here and it goes into the radiator the moisture from the burning tobacco goes into the radiator. Now, this is the cool part. When you're done smoking tobacco out of the radiator pipe, you clean out the bowl. This is briar wood, just like any other wood. I'm sorry, just like any other pipe, it's briar wood. 
So when you're done, you clean out uh, your briar, the briar part, the briar part, as normal like you would a normal pipe, and then you unscrew the briar bowl. And you have the radiator part. Now, the radiator part is going to be is going to have moisture in it. So basically, what you do is you pour out the moisture, and then what he said to do is just run water down through the mouthpiece into the shank, and it'll clean out all the moisture that's in the bottom. Then blow through the mouthpiece and paper towel or something down in there to clean all that moisture out. Once you've cleaned it out and it's dry, you just take the bowl and screw it back on. Make sure I get it screwed on straight. There we go. And it's ready to smoke again. So there it is. It's uh, the Hector Weeb radiator pipe. Uh, very nice. I, I, I like it a lot already. There's HW for Hector Weeb. And I can't wait to smoke it. All right, well, that's it for this Yabo. Uh, I hope <clears throat> I hope that you enjoyed it. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to be talking about next time, but uh, I'm sure it will be informative. And until then, I want to wish you and your family happy piping.